trades for today. Today is Friday, February 24th of 2023. And we had several trades we made today. So the first one here you see was in Disney. We rolled our short call option. We kept the same expiration date, March 17th. We rolled the short call option from 110 down to 105. Well, let me show you why I did that here. So looking at it, the daily chart of Disney, we see that it had broken through this red trend of moving average several weeks ago. It appeared to be looking good, but then after earnings, it's been drifting lower. And now today, it broke below the green 50 exponential moving average here, which is around 102. But it also broke below this support right here, this previous high from back in November, several times in November and then in December. This has served as resistance for it. And remember, resistance once broken tends to turn to support, which you saw happen here. It tested for resistance again. It finally pushed through it. Well, today it broke through that support. So because of that, I felt comfortable rolling this 110 strike price down to 105. Consider rolling it lower, but for now, we'll just stick with 105 and we're only three weeks until expiration. We can adjust it then. So the next trade we did was kind of a similar trade. We rolled the CCI March 17th, 140 call down to 130. So let me show you why I did that. So here again, we see that CCI it broke through an area that served as support for it back here in December, towards the end of December. See the low was right at this line here, 130 and 87 cents. And today CCI broke through it. It did it on pretty good volume. See, it was a pretty high volume, red, red volume bar there. So on high volume, it's not looking very good. So I decided to roll that strike price down to actually end the money a little bit, just to give us a little more room. It looks like CCI will probably try and find support next around 127 or so. Of course, anything can happen, but that's odds are we'll look to find support next. So again, we're only three weeks out. We didn't roll the expiration date out. We just rolled the strike price down and we'll adjust it again within the next three weeks. The next one is our final adding cash secure puts to our Walgreens position. And again, we see Walgreens, it's, it's really done nothing since early January, January 5th. It's really just traded sideways. This area around 35 is holding a support for it. So we finished off and added seven more cash secure put options to Walgreens. So now we're done adding. I was actually able to sell the $34.5 cash secure put options. So we actually got, gave ourselves a little more protection, even lower than the 35s we've been selling. So we have a little more room for Walgreens to come down on the ones we sold today. Still got a nice return, over 20% annualized. So I was happy to get that. And finally, our Tyson Chicken, ticker symbol TSN. Tyson's kind of like Walgreens in that it hasn't been trading as long around this area, right above 60. But we do see that it, it found support here back in December. And now it advanced and now it's returned back to support. And it's holding, it was a nice down, nice strong down day today when we actually placed this trade. Towards the end of the day, it kind of drifted up. But overall, it's still finding support around 60. And so I felt comfortable adding to this cash secure put option in Tyson. Again, we see here that just seems like a lot of buyers are coming in and buying it right around 60. So of course, anything can happen. If it pushes through there, then we're liable to have a pretty decent drop. It's like the next area of support will be all the way down here around 55. So it'd be about a, almost a 10% drop if it busts through this support. But for now it's holding it and we'll look to add to it if the return stays sufficient and it looks like it will continue finding support. So that's all of our trades for today. I hope you have a great weekend.